All right, in this video, I have a new pickup. Uh, got one of the three that dropped on, I think, Joe Freshgood. This is uh, one that I got from Instagram, kind of a random one, uh, where it dropped on Instagram and it was sitting out there for quite a while. And I ended up scooping the green colorway of the Joe Fresh Goods uh, 993 New Balance collaboration, known as Performance Art, as you can see on the top of the lid. I like that they add something like that, and it's kind of silly how important it is to know like what you're looking at, and sometimes it's hard to tell a theme, a generalized theme from uh, the colorway that you get. Uh, you can see it does have the spare laces. I decided to lace them up, do one of each in this box, but I like the box as well. Really nice colors uh, on here. The, uh, the New Balance made uh, in the USA flag statement flag right there. Anyway, this is the shoe, man. And, and um, I got to tell you, first out of the box, my first impressions, I was actually kind of surprised because I didn't realize uh, the other colors on here were like this crazy vibrant, I don't even know what this is, atomic orange almost. Uh, but I was like, I knew that the green was there, but the atomic orange like threw me off. I was like, well, this is weird. I don't know if I, I like it. In fact, in certain lightings, it looked really like pink. And then there is a pink um, um, around the New Balance logo as well. So it has kind of a different vibe to it. But getting them out of the box and in hand, I was like, okay, like the materials look like they're what we would expect from a New Balance a 990 or basically just a New Balance 990 collaboration. But the colorway is one where I'm not 100% like if I'm like in love with it or not. But, uh, but I like the pack together, like all three colorways were very subtle, kind of like almost Easter-like just because of the, the pastel nature of some of the shoes. But all in all, it's not a bad looking colorway, uh, nice little accents, and the performance art aspect of what they are delivering. I, I kind of like the message. I saw the Instagram video. I'll try to link it in the description of uh, them talking about like all the different people and what their uh, performance art is of whatever their passion is. Like some of them are basketball players and singers and so on. But the overall theme itself, like it's not something you can go and look at it and go, okay, that's a theme of this. There's blue uh, for the sky. There's brown for the dirt, like that sort of vibe. Like it's a performance art, three different colorways. The colors are listed as powder pink, margarita, and arctic blue. So. Uh, I'll give you kind of an idea of what those say. To summarize what this project was, there's a quote. It says, the beauty of art is not all things that are indeed to be what they are made for. We take it and make it for our own. Kind of an interesting quote. But anyway, leave a comment in the comment section out of the three colorways that did drop, which is your favorite? There's the pinkish one, the bluish one, and then the greenish one. Uh, I went off of the visuals. I almost got the blue one, and then I decided last minute to switch it up and get the green one. Uh, so that is what I went with. And I think on feet, these things look a lot better than in hand. It's just one of those things, as you normally see, uh, how transformative it is to just have the artwork on your feet. And it's just, I don't know, it makes it look a lot better. And also, um, while you're in the comment section, which laces do you like better? The, the Arctic color right here, whatever this is, it actually kind of ties in the theme a little bit better uh, just because obviously the midsole and everything else but obviously you can go the clean like green route as well and I was reading an interview of the creator of the shoes and uh, Joe Fresh Goods and it said that this is kind of the last chapter in chapter one I don't know if that means there's gonna be a chapter two and whatnot for New Balance I'm imagining so because they had such a successful campaign this is one of the other ones that they ended up dropping um, a while ago and this was the outside clothes one this has the dirt in the sky and the the grass theme on this one really nice one as well and for those wondering about the models they are different this is the 990 v3 this is the 993 and i do still owe you guys like a comparison between all of them i've been honestly waiting until the new 990 v6s came out which they actually finally did come out and if you guys want to buy a pair of the 990 v6s i'll link them in the description over to new balance site they have the first colorway available, uh, Easy Cop. I got a wide version. I can't wait to get those in hand. And then I'll do like a 990 kind of a matrix of just comparison. Anyway, overall, what you're looking at here, primarily all of the upper is done in a like a greenish sort of suede uh, material. And then you do have some perforated suede down here uh, in the front, then also in the back sections uh, of the shoe. You have a reflective end in green, and then the piping around that is actually done in pink. You have a gray mesh on the toe box of the shoe, and then also around the collar, and then almost like a taupe sort of color, I guess, for the liner of the shoe. I don't know the official colorway of what that is, but it's a lighter color and kind of more of a brown uh, hint to it. The tongue is a mix of the suede and mesh as well. And then you do have the 993 down here in the little window with the sort of a flag behind it. There's not a lot of branding with Joe Fresh Goods on here. There is some on the insole that says uh, Joe Fresh Goods New Balance Performance Arch. And then you do also have the uh, JFG on 
the back of the shoe with the flag uh, behind it. 993 on the side of the shoe and then it does say New Balance back here in the support. And then the midsole is a split midsole of the two different tones. As I said, almost that Arctic orange and then the green. And then that also has the same color scheme on the bottom of the shoe. If you're a fan of the 993 models, then this is just another colorway to add to your arsenal. Uh, and I think that it is not a bad choice. The price point was a little expensive though. I think at 220, but honestly the 990 V3s are usually upwards around twos. So it is what it is, but, uh, but it is made in the USA and it does have nice premium materials on here. So I guess uh, that is definitely a silver lining. Again, fit is true to size in my opinion. I go with a 9.5 and it fits me just fine. But um, if you guys have a difference in opinion, of course, leave a comment in the comment section. It says absorb DTS down here in the midsole, which is something that I haven't seen before on the previous 993s. It's probably there. I just never really noticed that detail. Uh, but I do like that there's a little hit of the orangish material here and then also on the front. And then just the overall mix of, of the colors, the different kind of variations of greens with like the pastel oranges and then the pink. Uh, little grays and stuff. All in all, it's actually a pretty nice colorway. It's just one that caught me off guard when I pulled it right out of the box. But leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think about the 993s? Is it something you guys are interested in or not? It looks like resale is sitting uh, just a little bit above retail for now, uh, minus fees and stuff, of course. Uh, but all in all, it's like one of those ones where I was like, okay, I definitely want to see the other two in hand, honestly, because I feel like it would be uh, better looking in hand and on feet than just seeing the images of them. Because based off the images, I chose this out of the three when I was choosing. I didn't want to get all three of them. I just decided to take it easy and get one. Uh, but uh, but I'm happy that I got one and I'm happy I got one of these ones. And all in all, Joe Fresh Goods has had some tremendous uh, collaborations with uh, New Balance. And so hopefully we'll see more of that in the future. I'll definitely be checking that out if they drop something. I would love, as I mentioned in the past, I'd love to see a crossover to the running segment because there's so many good runners out there. I love the lifestyle stuff as well, the cut and sew, the like the nostalgia and just the whole era of like sneakers like the 990 is like super iconic for New Balance. But then the forward thinking side of me is like, dude, there's so many great Fresh Foam X models. There's so many great uh, fuel cell models that would be so awesome and obviously we saw the stone island fuel cell collaboration but that model is like for elite runners there's not much of a segue comparison to the rest of the arsenal that they have for like new balance running sneakers that have more of a, a segue to lifestyle and you can wear them casually and be just be an overall better experience there's other models that i would recommend uh, for that collaboration one of my favorites is the se trainer uh, fuel cells those things are insane also the 1080 v12s amazing and then the more v4s even are really really good the hero v7 gore-tex i just did a review on those love those that would be a really fun one to see a collaboration on as well like this sort of a theme on that because it's kind of like an outside shoe anyway for trail but um but yeah it would be interesting to see if they can kind of like mix it up and do some stuff like that and generate some hype towards that segment because honestly the shoes are are extremely comfortable and uh it would be something that i would just uh think would be a, a nice segment segue and a nice change up to whatever they've already been doing but if it's not broke don't fix it hopefully they'll have some more stuff out there for us to check out in the future uh, but anyway that's a quick video quick look at these if you guys want to buy a pair i'll link them in the description i don't think they're on new balance's site anymore i will link the 990 v6s and then i'll try to find these maybe on ebay or something like that but appreciate you all for stopping by and watching hope you guys enjoyed have a good rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more sneaker videos very soon all right peace guys